Hi everyone, I'm Tony from rpstock.net. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to our latest free download, HDRI Studio Pack Volume 1. This pack features 30 high dynamic range images that we created and can be used for 3D image based lighting or reflections in pretty much any 3D program or plugin. First, let's go to our website, rpstock.net, and check out our freebie section. And let's check out our HDRI pack and download. That's pretty much it. Here is the pack unzipped. We wanted to hook you guys up with some studio environments that can be used for uh, product displays or even some abstract stylized scenes that you'd like to light with uh, global illumination, even possibly for reflections. If uh, global illumination isn't your thing, this is a great way to go about it. So let's dive into Cinema 4D and check out how to quickly put a scene together. So here we are in Cinema 4D. Here's a quick scene of some primitive objects. Uh, we'll just uh, go ahead and light this with one of our HDRIs. So a quick way to do that is to add a sky object. And uh, let's add a material. And since we're dealing with uh, image-based lighting, we want to use the luminance channel to light this object. So we'll click that on and turn off our color and reflectance here that are set on by default. And uh, let's go through and uh, check out some of these uh, images. Since these are 32-bit files, there's a lot of information here in the actual texture and the luminance. So let's uh, go ahead and pick out this dramatic scene here and we'll drag this over to our texture and click, no, we don't want to copy it over for now. And uh, next thing we want to do is drag this over to our sky object and you'll see that it's now applied to our background. If we don't want to see that, uh, what we can quickly do is go to Cinema 4D tags and compositing tag and click off scene by camera and now it's gone uh, the next thing we'd like to do is make sure gi is turned on global illumination and uh, i think i just use this uh, high preset here and let's give this a quick render and see what we got as these render i'll just fast forward the playback so you don't have to sit through and watch uh, paint dry and here you go uh, looks pretty cool it's dramatic we have one big bright light shining on the scene and um, the settings for a global illumination you, you could tinker with and bump them up if you'd like. Let's check out another scene real quick. Here's a little Buddha model. Let's uh, find something to light them with. We have this Kino light setup, which I think is pretty cool. Let's drag this over to the texture. Uh, make sure RGI is turned on. It is. And give this a render. And here you go. As you can see, you could actually get some of that uh, those fluorescent tubes in the reflection from the actual Kino light, which is pretty cool. And uh, and the way this is built this uh, in this image, the fill light is set to a certain brightness as well as the key light and the actual rim light is a little bit brighter to give us a nice little highlight on our subject. So it looks pretty cool. Let's check out another sample. In this sample here, we have a little abstract texture that is set to displace. So right now we don't really see anything. So let's go ahead and add something cool to our to our sky object. And let's uh, let's pick out something that's a little different. Uh, the orange and teal is pretty cool. So let's drag this texture over and give this a render. And here we are, uh, render complete. And uh, as you can tell, com lit completely by this HDRI with the orange and teal uh, key lights here. Uh, creates a really cool environment, especially if you're working on some abstract stuff or just want a different look altogether. It's pretty neat. Uh, let's check out another scene. All right, here we have a football helmet and uh, we have stadium lights here, which uh, I think is perfect for this little helmet. So let's uh, drag the texture and uh, let's give this a quick render. All right, and uh, here's our render. It's completed. As you can see, uh, the stadium lights reflecting in the helmet. It's pretty cool. It's a nice little wraparound design. And the green from the floor casts into the actual reflections and uh, it's actually illuminating the bottom area with a, a green color cast. So that's pretty cool. Uh, our last example, this is a non-GI example in our render settings, GI is turned off. This is just lit by uh, a simple light. And uh, what we'll do is add our sky object like we did with the previous examples. Uh, but this time we're just using it for reflections. Um, and you could use it on the luminance channel, it really doesn't matter. But uh, in this example, I'm going to use the spirally texture. And um, this, is, uh, this is great because if you go to our sky object, as you can see, I, I have keyframed the horizontal axis of the sky, I believe. And uh, what happens here is that it's giving us a little light sweep. 
And if you keyframe this right, you could you could either loop this or just uh, do a simple light sweep. And if you want, you could even rotate it to whichever direction you want the light sweep to hit your object. So that's a cool little effect. If you're not using GI, you can still use these uh, HDRIs for actual reflections. So that's it. Hope you guys find these useful. Please let us know if there's anything you'd like to see as our next freebie pack. Uh, we look forward to developing more of these. Uh, so be on the lookout at rpstock.net for more coming soon. So till then, see ya.